We don't want to leave any partner behind. We want to make sure all of us understand how important our thinking is. Because as a man thinketh, so is he. Or the New King James, as a man thinks, a continual, perpetual process. However you continue to think, you that's still how have you're to going be to thinking in line with God's word. And when you start thinking in line with God's word, it's going to transform. It's going to change your condition. You want your condition to change? You start thinking like God told See, you. See, most to people think. think the increase is going to happen when you get it. No, you've had it before, but you were not thinking properly. And one of the first ways to get you thinking correctly or, or, or in line your thinking with God's word, you have to first know who you are. So if you're going to have life with the right mindset, then it seems like to me, well, in scripture, that you're going to have to renew your mind. The renewing of the mind does not happen at the new birth experience. Did I lose anybody? The new birth experience is when you receive Jesus Christ. It's when you got born again. It's when you got saved. The renewing of the mind is not a part of that experience. And I get born again, and really, to me, it seems like nothing has changed because I'm still thinking the same way. I still got some of those same desires. I'm still having some of those same emotions. I'm still making some of those same decisions. I'm still tempted with the same stuff. I'm still giving in to some of the same stuff. I'm still fussing with my wife. I'm still cussing. I'm still listening to all different kind of music that's, that's kind of be, uh, that, that's explicit. I'm still watching pornography. I'm still cheating on my wife. But I'm born again. I'm still going to the club. I'm still smoking cigarettes. And now you're in this church cycle. I used to see it in here a lot, not as often no more, but rededic for rededication, for backsliders. Same people get up over and over and over again. They just in the cycle. And they think that they've been conditioned to think that that prayer is going to change them. I'm going to get prayer. That prayer is going to change me. Come on, pray. No, okay. Don't hear this as, 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 if, as if I'm knocking prayer. The effectual verbal prayer of the righteous does avail much. I ain't talking about that effectual verbal prayer. I'm talking about this prayer, you coming up every single week, thinking that if, if I pray for you, it's going to change. My prayer might empower some change, but the change going to come from you doing something with we that line. All of us can shake. Woo! I feel anointing. I feel anointing. And you can get right back up off this floor and go smoke a cigarette, go drink some beer. Right. Amen. Or go smack your wife or go cuss yes. or flick somebody off in traffic. Yes. Yes. And then you're like, well, that stuff don't work. There was no power in that. It was. There's a whole bunch of power in those anointed men of God who I just called out. I'm not making fun of them. A lot of power in them, but ain't no power in your soul. Yes. 